Sooner fans! So, a week from now, the Oklahoma Schooner Sooner will be leaving, will, will, will be jumping from Owen Field to the Loud Noble Center. Of course, we all know that's the Lloyd Noble Center. The OU men's basketball team, led by their guy for the third consecutive year, Lon Kruger, the former Kansas State Wildcat, the savvy veteran. With a record, he enters here with an overall record from Texas Pan American, his alumni, the alumni of his own Kansas State, the University of Florida. Illinois, University of Las Vegas of Nevada, and the University of Oklahoma with a combined record of 514 and 332 overall, including 14 NCAA trips and four NIT trips. He, while at Florida, he was twice voted in 97 and in 98 as the SEC Coach of the Year. In 2008, he was awarded the Midwestern Athletic Conference Coach of the Year. He had a big 12, Big 10 title while at Illinois. And two... Midwestern Conference Athletic Conference titles in 20, 2007 and in 2008 for the Savvy Veteran from Kansas. His starting five, it will probably look like this. Uh, the point guard, the leader of them all, Isaiah Cousins. He showed a lot last year. The two guard will probably eventually be Buddy Heel. Now remember, he's got that that foot injury to come back from and all, but he should be able to come back and rejoin the team at a hundred percent. Behind him at the forward guard, basically the Kevin Durant slot, that's probably going to be another freshman from last year, Jalon Hornbeek. He'll ring the horn there. The power guard will probably... I'm looking for Cam Clark to play here. Uh, it'll probably be uh, Hamilton or, or, or Tyler or could be any of these guys. But I really like what I saw from Cameron Clark. And also what Cam can do is he can add the three-point shot if we need him to from the low post. And at, at the power... At the for sure low post. The center, the brooder of them all, my good buddy Ryan Spangler out of Oklahoma. At Gonzaga, he had double-doubles galore two years ago, of course having to redshirt last year. The reserve guards and forwards for this team, guards will probably be uh, Frank Brooks, Jordan Woodard, who I'm really excited about seeing. The kid out of Oklahoma City, Edmund. Uh, Daniel Harper. And James Forshilla. The name Forshilla sound familiar? Well, it should. Remember, Fran Forshilla? Because all those ESPN games on Big Monday. Now that uh, now that Bob Knight's been pushed to the side of, as Big, Big 12 action. Yeah, 
That guy. This is his son. And he is having a blast doing this as a reserve guard. I got to talk to him a little bit at the State Fair of Texas before the Cotton Bowl. And he is super excited. He's ready. And he's able. And he's capable of playing uh, as a reserve guard. And wants to play as a reserve guard. Pushes himself hard. And is very excited about the season coming up. Forwards. Another Oklahoma kid. Tyler Neal. There he is. Big Tyler Neal. He's another one of those guys, just like Cameron Clark, that can play either the forward or the guard. But Ty has been working hard at more of the forward position now the last two years in Kruger's era. Joining him down post will be uh, C.J. Cole, Kayshawn Hamilton, and D.J. Bennett. Now, Bennett uh, injured himself while going to practice uh, last, uh, or late last week, so he will not be able to uh, participate in the uh, exhibition games coming up there in a couple of weeks. But by the time that we play Baylor in football and the Alabama game rolls around on November the 8th, he should be back uh, for the tip-off classic there in Big Bad Dallas. The newcomers to this team, there are a couple of them. The Frank Booker kid I was telling you about, he's 6'4", 200, out of Austria, out of Georgia, Augusta, Georgia. Sorry, I had the little uh, speak there. Uh, the, the forward center, Kayshawn Hamilton, 6'10", 270, big boy, big hoss in there from Parsons, Kansas. Driving out the Kansas kids. And, of course, the one I'm excited about seeing out of Edmond Santa Fe, Jordan Woodard, six foot, a buck 75. And now, he's not, like I said, he's not going to start over Buddy or Isaiah or Jalon or any of those guards that are guard or forwards that are playing right now. But if you need him to, late in the games, come in and make some big shots. Basically, do what, uh, remember a couple of, couple of uh, years ago. Uh, Kay Davis did this. Came off the bench, an Oklahoma kid. Came off the bench and hit some big shots to help the Sooners. He can do that for you. Give him some time. Some key non-conference matchups. These are matchups against uh, teams of uh, power conference uh, teams. And starts off game one. They don't... Uh, Oklahoma will play a power conference game one in the tip-off classic on November the 8th. Now, November the 7th, o, uh, uh, Bobby Stoops and O-K-L-A-H-O-M-A will play Baylor. After that football game, you need to head up, head up to the American Airlines Center because that's when Oklahoma basketball style will take on Alabama and the American Airlines Center for the Tip-Off Classic on Sooner Sports TV. That should be pretty interesting there. Their second non-conference, they have been invited, the Oklahoma Sooners have, because of their good success last year and another, Big 12, and another NCAA invite and wins over Big 12 champions Texas, I mean uh, Kansas and Oklahoma State and NCAA invite. They've been invited to Brooklyn for the annual Coaches vs. Cancer Classic on True TV. Oklahoma will play Seton Hall in the opening game. And then the third uh, national non-conference game, uh, power conference game, will be the 23rd, where Oklahoma will either put face Michigan State or Virginia Tech also in the Barkley Center in Brooklyn. Home of the New Brooklyn Nets. Uh, they will then head home. And on ESPNU, Oklahoma will play Mercer in Norman. That's going to be the big fun home game that ESPN is going to be at. And uh, the Big 12 Pac-12 Challenge will take place. As Oklahoma will play another power conference team in Texas A&M. And that game will be played in Houston 
On December the 21st, Texas A&M will be playing them at the Toyota Center. Remember last year they played them here at the Chesapeake Energy Arena for the All-College Classic. Now in that scenario, you'll see that I did not mention the All-College Classic because Oklahoma is not in the All-College Classic this year. It is all Oklahoma State all the time in the All-College which is good if you don't want to see the, the orange group. But bad side is they are going to be coming into Norman for conference games. Other key conference games besides that, Texas will be in Norman on March the 1st, and we'll go to Austin on January the 4th to start things off. Kansas will be in on the January the 8th for the home game. The away game will be February the 24th. Iowa State played them twice, home on January 11th. Iowa State on February 1. Uh, Long Kruger's alumni eye of Kansas State University. They'll play, they'll, they'll be in Norman on February the 8th. And we'll go into Manhattan on January the 18th. TCU. We'll get back at TCU for the uh, basketball version at the home game. That will happen on January the 22nd. And then we will head back down to Fort Worth, who started the skid that Oklahoma just couldn't cap back from. That game will take place, the away game will take place on March the 8th. Uh, Texas Tech. They'll be here on February 12th, and they'll be in Lubbock on January the 25th. The aforementioned O.S. Puke. OSU Cowboys, the Polk Chokes, the Big 12 favorites, will be here in Norman on January the 28th. And on February 15th, on Valentine's Night, we'll be in Stillwater. And finally, on March the 5th, West Virginia comes to Norman, and we'll head to Morgantown on February the 15th. Uh, the Big 12 Conference Championships, once again, is being played in the Sprint Center in Oklahoma City. The games will be taking place from March 12th through March 15th. Now remember, this is only the men's. The women's tournament not only has been moved back a week, but there has been a change in venue, and that will be played here in the Oak, in OKC in the peak. But this one, for the men's side, will be played in Oklahoma, in Kansas City, in the Sprint Center, on March 12th through March 15th. After that, hopefully Oklahoma will move on to the NCAA tournament and beyond. This has been a breakdown of the OU men's basketball program. Uh, everyone take care, and as always, Boomer Sooner, everybody.